People throw stones at you and you convert them into milestones. It is easy to hate and it is difficult to love. That is how the whole scheme of things work. All good things are difficult to achieve and bad things are very easy to get. The key to handling pressure situations like these is to keep yourself steady. Follow your instincts and think clearly. Chase your dreams, but make sure you don't find shortcuts. A champion team needs only a small window of opportunity to stage a fight back, something I've learned over the years. When trying to save a match, the important thing is to set small targets. I always remember the game for other reasons, because I learned a very important personal lesson. It taught me never to resort to unethical ways and to play the sport with honesty and integrity at all times. At least with me, the match starts much, much earlier than the actual match. Critics haven't taught me my cricket, and they don't know what my body and mind are up to. I just keep it simple, watch the ball and play it on merit. If you don't execute on your plans, then you don't reach anywhere. Before you lay a foundation on the cricket field, there should be a solid foundation in your heart and you start building on that. After that, as you start playing more and more matches, you learn how to score runs and how to take wickets. I have never tried to compare myself to anyone else. Competitive spirit has played a huge role in making me what I am. Success is a process. I always believe that cricket is played best when your mind is at the opposite end and that problems occur when your mind is stuck at your own end. It is important to understand that if you do fail, it's important for you to get right back up again. If you remain humble, people will give you love and respect even after you have finished the game. Whatever level you reach, getting better never stops. Don't stop chasing your dreams, because dreams do come true.